think now more than ever, LeBron is an absolute anomaly. Truly a one of one. In the NBA's near 80 year history, there's never been a player quite like him. I mean, go through the laundry list of players both past and present who have drawn comparisons and none of them are all that similar to LeBron. An unfair blend of size and speed, the strength of a big with the skills of a guard, an alleged pass first player who bulldozed his way to the most points in NBA history. And all of this got me thinking, <laughs> who is the most similar player to LeBron in the NBA right now? It's a question that I've always wanted to know the answer to. And after spending countless hours looking at the data, crunching the numbers and comparing players from all- I laughed because he said a pass first player that has the most points in, like ever. That's actually insane, bro. Imagine. My headphones just died, by the way, so I gotta try, I gotta plug them in. Yes, you yeah, so around the body, yeah. Timeless, timeless, timeless. All around the league to LeBron, from the playmaking to the size, the shooting, the play like, style, look a little funny? I finally have the answer. And the most similar player to LeBron is not who you think it is. Today's video is sponsored no! by DraftKings. Uh, gamble responsibly, guys. If you want to gamble, go ahead and gamble. But lastly, you know what I'm saying, guys, it's a very bad thing. Blah, 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 blah players currently in the NBA who reminds you most of LeBron James of course not including himself who is the most similar to him I'm sure among I'm some of the names that come to mind Paul right. Bencaro Zion Williamson what remains of Ben Simmons and Luka Doncic are all viable candidates but even those guys despite being the closest thing are not really all that similar to LeBron Paulo isn't as offensively dynamic as a young LeBron was. Zion isn't as good or willing of a passer. Luka isn't nearly as explosive. And Ben Simmons has pretty much stopped playing basketball altogether. Oddly enough, LeBron's game isn't even that unique. A do-it-all Swiss army knife point forward. If anything, in today's positionless league, this archetype of player is the most common. And yet, somehow after 21 years, not only have we not come across a single player who can do it as well as him, we have yet to see a player with a game that even resembles LeBron's. But why is that? In fact, with a game as relatively simple and effective as LeBron's, why has there not been a single player in the NBA who plays like him? This series of questions led me down a long and exhausting rabbit hole of what I believe to be the most extensive look into this topic. Who is the most similar player to LeBron James? Now, usually whenever this question comes up, the most common and possibly accurate answer involves combining two different players. A hybrid. Many fans have said LeBron is a mix between Magic Johnson and Scottie Pippen. The skills of Grant Hill with the frame of a power forward. Tracy McGrady in Karl Malone's body. CraftedNBA.com has a great tool called Doppelgangers, which uses an extensive batch of metrics to find similar players throughout the NBA. But this tool specifically looks at the results of a player's game without looking at the method in which they got those results, which is an important distinction. For example, Kevin Durant and Bam Adebayo had the same field goal percentage last season, but the shots they took to get there were wildly different. To find real similarity, the method is just as important as the result. And so I decided to take matters into my own hands. And after hours of research, metric-based analysis, and data crunching in an attempt to solve this age-old question, I think I have the answer. An almost definitive conclusion on the most similar player to LeBron in the NBA today. And I guarantee the player who came out ahead of everyone else is not who you think it is. First, I had to reduce the entire- Predictions? Predictions chat? It's actually just a son. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Entire league, down to the players who had even an ounce of resemblance to LeBron and his game. Floor generals, oversized guards, hyper-athletic players, slashers, players who are just really good, bigs with guard skills, the do-it-all Swiss army knives, high usage guys, and because why not, Victor Wembanyama. Eventually, I was able All to right. narrow down the list of players included in our experiment to about 70. Of those 70 players, here are the ones that scored the highest in similarity to LeBron. Now, how exactly did I quantify similarity throughout this process? Well, first I had to determine the metrics in which I wanted Quantify? Quantify? Mm. Bro, 
Can you reduce the, the, the shrink, shrink the words down, bro, for us regular folks? Quantify. What? Wanted to measure. And here are those metrics. Stature, usage and creation, shooting tendencies, portability, passing, defense, athleticism, dominance, shooting ability, and play. So how do you, how do you compare the, the the similarities? That's literally all he said. But he just, he just he said it, he said it compare, he just quantify. Quantify. All right, you big brain fuck. Style. 10 isolated metrics that factor in each and every aspect of LeBron's game. Finding the similarities between him and any other player was the easy part. For example, take passing, which can be measured fairly accurately with passer rating, a metric that measures how frequent, effective, and efficient a player passes the ball. The metric is on a scale from 1 to 10, and LeBron's career passer rating is 7.67. That's really good. James Harden has a career passer rating of 7.37. That is also really good. Jalen Brown has a career passer rating of 3.24, and that's not so good. To quantify just how similar these two players are to LeBron in to terms of passing, we just okay, need to bro. figure out how much their passing. If he says quantify one more time, I'm not watching the video. <laughs> rating deviates from LeBron's. I'm in joking. this case, James Harden's passer rating only deviates from LeBron's by 3.9%, while Jalen Brown's passer rating deviates by 57.8%. This would give Harden a passing similarity score of 96.1% and Jalen Brown a similarity score of 42.2%. By using this method of measurement, I calculated the similarity score of every player in our experiment across all 10 previously mentioned categories. I then tallied up their total score to find the overall most similar player to LeBron. The player with the highest score after evaluating all 10 categories is the player that shares the most in common with him. All so right. now that you know the method, let's see the results. Now the first category we're gonna take a look at is stature. If we were put to the task of building a basketball player in a lab with the ideal NBA frame, he would probably come out looking like LeBron. 6'9", 250 pounds with a seven foot wingspan. Six, in fact, here are his exact me. measurements courtesy of craftednba.com. 6'8", so big, okay, so he round it up, okay? You know what I'm saying? 255 pounds with a seven, seven foot wingspan, age 39, what the <laughs> What the measurements you would usually find in a power forward. And that's exactly the type of players that share the most in common with LeBron in terms of physical frame. Among the players we are evaluating, the one that has the most similar frame to LeBron is Paulo Bencaro, whose measurements are almost identical to LeBron's with a similarity score of 99.1%. From his height to his weight and wingspan, the next closest players are Julius Randle, Ben Simmons, Alperin Sengun, and DeMontis Sabonis. Ben Keep Simmons. in mind, although I will That's only tough. be displaying the results of 20 to 30 players per category, ass. each individual score is being factored in and will be revealed at the end. Now, in terms of shooting, not efficiency, but rather where players choose to operate on offense and take their shots, there aren't many players around the league that are very similar to LeBron. He's got the size of a power forward and he uses that size to get to the rim and attempt 35% of his shots within three feet of the basket. But he also attempts nearly a quarter of his shots from behind the three point line. Players with shot selections this balanced are pretty rare. Take, for example, a player like Zion Williamson, who has the physical tools like LeBron, but he does the majority of his work right around the basket. You'd think a player like Jason Tatum might be similar to LeBron in this aspect with how well-rounded his arsenal of shots can be, but he tends to favor three-point shooting above any other shot. So when it comes to shot selection, the player that is most similar to LeBron throughout the entire NBA is actually Russell Westbrook, whose shot selection only deviates from LeBron's by about 8%. The next closest player is Julius Randle, followed by Jimmy Butler, Paolo Bencaro, and Andrew Wiggins, who, all similar to LeBron, have extremely balanced shot selections. Now, one of LeBron's most valuable and distinctive traits is his versatility as a player. One of his most underrated accomplishments is that he is the only player in NBA history to be listed at all five positions for at least a season. And there's actually a metric that makes an attempt to measure this adaptability Ooh. called portability. This metric collects data like passer rating, shooting ability, ball dominance, and usage, as well as defensive versatility, and calculates how portable a player is within any given system. In other words, how well would a player fit if you dropped him into a team with 14 random players? The metric is on a scale from 1 to 10, where 10 
is a perfect score. LeBron has a career portability rating of 7.82, and the most similar players to LeBron in this regard are Chris Paul and Jason Tatum, who are both Chris nearly Paul? identical to LeBron with similarity scores of 99.8%. The Chris next closest players are Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, and James Harden. It's worth noting that there are players around the league. Chris Paul can be play any position? Unless I'm like reading into it wrong, Chris Paul can play any position or is able to play any position. I call cap. I call cap. You know what I'm saying? Jason Tatum. I call cap. Kevin Durant. I can see that. Kawhi. I can see that. Tatum. League who are even more portable than LeBron has been All throughout right. his career, such as Kawhi, Harden, Paul George, and Nikola Jokic. But you can't really be like LeBron if you aren't willing and great at passing the ball. So the next metric we're assessing is passer rating. This metric, similar to a few others, are on a scale from 1 to 10, with of course 10 being the best possible rating. Now throughout his career, LeBron has had a passer rating of 7.67, and the player most similar to him in this metric is once again Russell Westbrook who has the same exact career passer rating as LeBron does, 100% in similarity. The next most similar players are Josh Giddy, Luka Doncic, John Morant, and James Harden. And already you can begin to see just how diverse LeBron's skills are. In some categories, he has most in common with big men, while in other categories, he resembles a guard. Which leads us to our next category and the most important aspect of LeBron's game, usage and creation. Throughout LeBron's career, he has been the <laughs> engine to goal. every All offense right. he's been a part of. Not just with his scoring, but with his playmaking. And to Yo. measure this, we can use three different metrics. Box creation estimate, offensive load, and usage percentage. And this is where LeBron really becomes an anomaly. Players of his size have historically done well generating offense for themselves, but bro, usually I do not look like LeBron, it takes bro. a ball-dominant guard to really carry the load of an entire offense the that LeBron has throughout his career. Which is why if we search for the most similar players in these metrics, we will find point guards. Russell Westbrook, John Morant, and James Harden being the most similar to LeBron in terms of their usage and creation on offense. However, it's there right, are some chat. bigs who have transcended their positional value, such How as Nikola Jokic, bro? Joel Embiid, How? and Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, defensively, LeBron's career hasn't been nearly as consistent. At Black. his peak, All he was right. a phenomenal defender, <laughs> one of the best in the entire league. But in recent years, he has games where nah. he can be a flat-out liability on the some defensive dickheads, bro. And although defense can be a difficult thing to- Y'all are some dickheads. I don't miss like half the freaking video because y'all, bro. He was a phenomenal defender, one of the best in the entire league. But in recent years, he has games where he can be a flat-out liability on the defensive end. And although defense can be a difficult thing to measure, there are a couple metrics that might be able to point us in the right direction in our search for the most similar player to LeBron. Specifically, defensive versatility rating and crafted defensive plus minus are the two metrics we'll be using here. Throughout his career, LeBron has a defensive versatility rating of 60.3 and a crafted defensive plus minus of 1.38. Career defensive numbers that are actually really good, especially for an offensive player of his caliber. And with these two metrics, what? we can find the player who is most similar to LeBron defensively, both in quality and versatility. And after crunching the numbers, that player is Chris Paul, with bro, a similarity score stop. of 88.2%, followed bro. by Amen Thompson, Jimmy Butler, Giannis, and Ben Simmons. Oddly enough, despite LeBron not being considered an elite Bob defender for years Chris now, Paul? statistically, throughout his career as a whole, he is most comparable to some of the most valuable defensive players in the league. I mean, is that Our what next makes category so is what I believe to be the most indicative of measuring similarities from player to player. And that is play style, what role they play on offense, where they find the most value while on the court, and their habits both on and off the ball. Now, quantifying a player's play style. If you made it as far into the video, make sure you subscribe and you like, you know what I'm saying, bro? And leave a, leave a comment saying, say, hey, 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 I made it to that one spot in the video where you told me to do that stuff, you know what I'm saying, bro? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Style is tough to do. What do you measure and how do you measure it? Well, on craftednba.com, within w each player's promo. profile, there is a breakdown of their usage by play type. 
These plays range from ISO possessions to pick and roll as both the ball handler and the roll man, the post, off ball cuts, handoffs, screens, and spot up. These eight play types are essentially the eight major different roles a player can play on any given possession. In Chad, LeBron's case, four of these eight different play types make up for the majority of all of his yeah, possessions on offense. Post possessions, spot up shooting, ISO possessions, and his favorite, pick and all rolls right. as the ball handler. Now, if I we take I a look at ball. these four play types, and search for the players with the most similar usage I percentage guess I play like a football four, player then the player that basketball. has the most similar play style to LeBron How is Jimmy know? Butler, who How surprisingly you know? shares many of the same habits, both in usage and play type, especially in ISO, pick and roll, and post possessions. The next most similar players to LeBron in this category were Giannis, Jason Tatum, Durant, and Jalen Brown. For the most part, versatile wings that can generate Giannis? offense from just about anywhere on the court. Now, athleticism is extremely difficult to measure in the NBA. Jumping high and running fast are feats of athleticism, but so are hand-eye coordination, stamina, and body control. And LeBron's stamina. athleticism is a key aspect of his abilities as a player, specifically in regards to his explosiveness. But unless you can get out there with a measuring tape and a stopwatch and grab some marks, it's almost impossible to really get an idea of how athletic LeBron is, or any player is for that matter. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, by looking at each player's vertical leap. Now, although this is only one very simple way of measuring an athlete's explosiveness, Max Vertical Leap is proven to be an effective gauge at doing just that. And it's an insightful metric in this context since LeBron's Vertical Leap has been a massive component to his game throughout the majority of his career. And according to countless sources, at his peak, LeBron had a Max Vert somewhere between 40 and 44 inches. After all these years, there's been no real confirmation on these numbers, but every single source I could find had has his max vert listed somewhere between 40 and 44. So we'll go with something right in the middle, 42 inches. And in terms of vertical leap, there's actually four players in the league today who are most similar to LeBron. Anthony Edwards, Ben Simmons, Aaron Gordon, and Amen Thompson, all with vertical leaps of 41.5 inches. The next most similar players are Donovan Mitchell, John Morant, Andrew Wiggins, and Derrick Rose. Now, we have factored in play style and shot selection, but we also need to consider shooting ability. It's probably the most average aspect of LeBron's game. Throughout his career, LeBron has been a streaky shooter, better as of late than he was in his early days in the league, but all in all, just very average. And this is really important. It's one of the main things that separates him from other great wings like Durant and Kawhi, who have been excellent shooters throughout their careers. And instead of strictly using field goal percentage to measure LeBron's shooting ability, we are going to be using Crafted NBA's shooting quality metric. It's a stat that combines shooting percentages with spacing and shot value to find what they describe to be the most accurate shooters in the league on a scale from 1 to 100. For context, Steph Curry clocked a perfect 100 out of 100 shooting quality rating for the past two seasons. Over his 21 seasons in the league, LeBron has a career average shooting quality rating of 61.8. And right now, the player who is almost exactly the same caliber of shooter as LeBron is Jalen Brown, oh, with a career shooting quality rating of 61.9 and a similarity score of 99.8% followed by Rui Hachimura, Brandon Ingram, OG Ananobi, and Luka Doncic. And with one more category left, we cannot leave out the most important thing of all, how good at basketball LeBron is. A player can pass like him, jump like him, shoot like him, but if they aren't dominating games, how similar to LeBron can they possibly be? And to measure dominance, instead of looking at accolades and accomplishments, we are going to look at purely how great they have been in their time in the NBA through the lens of an advanced metric crafted plus minus. Now this metric is an aggregate of 10 other advanced metrics. It's essentially an all- in An aggregate? Well, it's, it's, bro, why does he keep substituting words, bigger words for, for, for simple words that he could use, bro? You know what I'm saying? This this metric is a combination of other metrics of other metrics to make this one metric. That's all, that's all you had to say, bro. That's all you had to say, bro. On cap, that's all you had to say, bro. In one I'm, of all the all in ones. It's just what we're looking for. And LeBron's career right. crafted plus minus is 7.66, which yeah, is the second that, highest in NBA history, only behind Michael Jordan. So although we're looking for the most similar <laughs> player to LeBron, really we're looking for the best for players real, in the bro. league in this category. 
And in terms of crafted plus minus, that player is Nikola Jokic. And how does that make me? No, I like I know what he's saying. I just like why is he using these big ass words where he can just use them? You know what I'm saying? For 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 the so the video can reach out to more people and so and so everybody can understand. I'm trying to help his channel. <laughs> I'm trying to help his channel out, bro. He's scaring uh, most of the population away by using small, by using big words. <laughs> With a career crafted plus minus of 7.62 and a similarity score of 99.5%. Easily the most similar player to LeBron in terms of dominance. The next closest players are Chris Paul, Kawhi Leonard, James Harden, and Joel Embiid. And with that, we have assessed all 55 players across all 10 categories. Now, did all this research and number crunching take me far longer than I was anticipating? Probably. Yes. Was it worth it? I think so. Because in a league where there isn't anyone quite like LeBron, I think with very high accuracy, I have narrowed the search for the most LeBron-like player down to one. After scanning a field of 70 potential matches across 10 different categories and dozens of metrics, the most similar player to LeBron in the NBA today is Jimmy Butler. Nah. It's kind of crazy, right? I know. In the end, Butler finished with an average similarity score of 80.81% uh, across that, all 10 actually. categories, finishing just ahead of Giannis and Durant and having a sizable lead on Jokic and Luka. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the player who came out on top wasn't a guy you would expect. At least for me, Jimmy Butler has not been a player that comes to mind when I think of similar players to LeBron. True. But when looking at his scores throughout each category, turns Maybe out he is eerily similar Jordan. in many ways. The only categories he didn't score well in were usage and creation oh, oh, look, and look, look, dominance, look, look. which makes sense. It's actually me. Butler isn't nearly the playmaker <laughs> or as ball dominant as LeBron I'm has been. Close and to LeBron. quite frankly, there's only a few players that even come close to LeBron in terms of dominance. Yo. But looking back, I think the clearest glimpse we got into just how similar Butler can be to LeBron was in the 2020 NBA Finals. Throughout this series, Jimmy Butler did a lot more facilitating than we're used Ooh. to seeing from him. He was hyper efficient from the floor, did his best jack of all trades impression, averaging a very LeBron-esque 26 points, 10 rebounds, and eight assists a game for the series. He seemed to have been much more in control of the Heat's offense, more assertive and aggressive with his possessions, getting to the line nine times a game. It almost makes you wonder if Butler played that super high usage role more often, which he is clearly capable of doing, would it become more obvious Obvious just how similar to LeBron he really is. He has fit well within the more traditional wing position throughout his career, but if Butler were to take on the role of a point forward, would it become more apparent that his game has more than just shades of LeBron in it? It's only ironic that the series that he played most like LeBron was of course against LeBron himself. Now here are the full results from this experiment, with the 70 total players involved condensed to the 55 with the Jimmy, highest Giannis, eventual Kevin, scores. And there's a few Joker. interesting things going on here. Giannis finished just behind Butler. Throughout his career, he has shared similarities with LeBron, but in very different ways than Butler has. Kevin Durant, of all players, came in third, which caught me by surprise. Again, not a player I would associate with LeBron's game, but the numbers say otherwise. James Harden finished in sixth, and I actually do see some similarities there, especially in their playmaking, ability to generate offense, versatility, and dominance. Ben Simmons, oh, one of very few players to get the Stay LeBron down. comp early in his career, finished all the way down in 37th. The biggest difference here being that despite being a guard, Simmons cannot generate his own offense outside of 12 feet from the basket, <laughs> leading to completely different shooting splits, play styles, and usage. Visually, their That's games tough. have looked similar, but in reality, outside of the size, athleticism, and passing, they actually don't have as much in common as you would think. Among the young guys in the league, it is Cade Cunningham who has the most in common with LeBron, finishing 17th, followed by a player who has drawn the comparison recently in Paulo Bencaro. The next closest in this group of young players are Jalen Williams, Franz Wagner, and Anthony Edwards. Now, I really wanted to add some past players into this experiment like Magic Johnson, Scottie Pippen, and Grant Hill, but many of the advanced metrics used throughout my research were not available until relatively recently. So unfortunately, with the method of measurement that I use, there just isn't enough data on these players to make an accurate assessment. 
Overall, it seems that, for the most part, it is the best players in the league that have the most in common with LeBron, which is interesting since there was only one metric that specifically measured dominance. But it would make sense that players that pass well, generate a lot of offense, have a high usage on good efficiency, and can defend at at least a decent level will have the most in common with LeBron. Go Makes through the sense. list of great players around the league and they all play a very large, impactful, and versatile role on the court. And their ability to do this leads them to a style of play that is similar to LeBron's one way or another. So there you have it. In case you were wondering who exactly is the most similar player to LeBron, the I mean, I wasn't until I saw the title of the video, and then I was. You know what I'm saying? I was intrigued, not gonna lie. Yo, W, yo, can we just applaud the man for the effort it took to make that video? I'm not even gonna lie. I know I was making fun of him for like using big words, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. But like, yo, that's, that is a, like, that is an intensive video. I'm not gonna lie. That is a very intensive video. If you made it this far, again, like the video, uh, uh, like the reaction video, follow, hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction. You feel me, bro? Daddy loves you. As always, big smooch on the forehead. Mm -hmm.